Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial and the next set of tutorials, we're going to be tackling facial recognition, how we can recognize images um, from and, and compare them against uh, uh, a, a gallery of photos and, and, and make sure that the algorithm recognizes the images. Okay, that we'll be using the eigenfaces uh, algorithm, uh, PCA or principal component analysis. Uh, there are many algorithms that you can use for facial recognition. PCA is just one of them. Uh, there's AI, ICA, there's LDA. Now there are more uh, algorithms based on geometric. Um, uh, features the contours and topologies i mean there's there are many but we're going to be doing pca first because it's very 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 widely used in industry and it's very widely used in academia okay before we use or before we do anything we need faces so we need to get the data in order to get the data there are, the data that i'm going to be using is the yale face database uh, you can go to the USD, uh, University of California, San Diego, Computer Science and Engineering, and you can uh, download uh, the database. It's right here. So all you need to do is go to this page and you will get faces because you cannot do facial recognition without having faces, right? So we need uh, some faces. The file is not too much. It's, it's only 6.4 megabytes. And there are 11 images per subject and there are 15 subjects 15 people okay so uh, this is a, what I do I like about this algorithm is that um, this the algorithm one of the things that I do like about it oh by the way when you when you download it you're gonna get a, a, a directory that looks like this okay and as you can see there are many there are 11 images of one person okay there's a center light there's one with glasses there's one that where he's happy left light shadows right light shadow normal no glasses sad surprise winking hey, there's a little wink here so there's it's, it's, it's not the it's, it's the algorithm it's not the easiest but it's not the hardest that's why I picked this one because um, we before we we do anything with it we we're going to scale it and we're going to uh, um, uh, crop the the images I will show you how to do that because uh, one, that's one one of the steps in pre-processing these databases that you need to do in order to improve the efficiency of the algorithm especially PCA okay because as you can see here if you one of the limitations of PCA is that it is um, it's very sensitive to lighting and to scale that's why I'm doing the cropping okay and uh, it, it requires a highly controlled environment so by cropping it we're trying to uh, control it as much as we can and uh, this is where we'll be text uh, the testing because it's a uh, it has a difficulty to capture expressions changes that's why I'm using that database to see uh, if we can capture the images if we can recognize them okay and um, the advantages what I do like about it is it can handle large databases uh, that's what I do like about it you can you can throw large databases at it and it does a great job it also is very easy to code and also once you have the image once you have the uh, the eigenface it, it's almost real time I mean being that we're using OpenCV which is a real time library this is uh, it, it's very fast that's what I do like about it okay so this is the you know where to get the faces the data you know a little bit of what the what the algorithm is and what it does if you have any questions just go here and uh, and you can understand the mathematics the linear algebra the what goes you know you you can go here it's a very nice page and also you need the code so one of the I found this one I mean we'll be using a few but I wanted to start with this one is Pi Faces, which is this one is being around for a long time, and it's um, it's an MIT license, so you can do um, 
anything you know it's a very permissive license and uh, you can download it by just going here and you can just do the zip here and the images if you want I w I'm not gonna be using the images that he has here I want to do it with my own images to show you how to do it I mean if you just want to use his images you can do that also but I, I want it I mean I, I know a lot of people have problems uh, with the pre-processing of the database because uh, when I started doing this I had a hard time uh, you know just pre-processing so that's why I'm, I'm showing you how to do it okay so we're gonna do it from scratch and uh, so you need to download this zip and um, it's, it's a little bit um, it's not too recent but it works great it's a it's a nice one to to start with so you get the download and once you download it you're going to get uh download recognition and it's gonna look like this you're gonna get a directory it looks by faces and you're gonna have the you're only gonna have images and this one okay this one i did that okay so don't worry about that and then there's going to be some stuff in here. There's going to be, these are the main fo uh, Py, Python files. And, and that's all you need. And then in the next tutorial, we'll start working with this, uh, with this uh, algorithm. I'll, uh, I, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to scale the images, how to change the names, and, and all that good stuff. This is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.